In the last decade, a lot of media attention has been focused on embryonic stem cell research. A stem cell is a special kind of cell that can differentiate into other tissue types. Careful study of stem cells has promised huge benefits for medicine. There are many different sources of stem cells, but embryonic stem cells have received particular attention for their fantastic ability to differentiate into very diverse tissue types. These cells can be harvested from the blastocyst stage in embryo development and then used for a huge variety of scientific experiments. Many people hope that these experiments will lead to cures for Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, diabetes, heart disease, injured spinal cords, strokes, burns, and many other conditions. But there's a problem. Years of embryonic stem cell research have resulted in absolutely no approved cures. When the cells are injected into the bodies of laboratory rodents, the animals' bodies frequently reject them. And the research has been troubled by debates over ethics because the embryo is destroyed when the stem cells are harvested. So, are stem cells really that promising? Well, they are. Adult stem cells are extremely promising. These cells can be found in many different places, including fat, bone marrow, and even the inside of your nose. And these cells are unlikely to be rejected by a patient's body. Adult stem cells were once believed to be incapable of differentiating into the same variety of tissue types as embryonic stem cells. But in 2006 and 2007, Experiments by Japanese and American scientists proved that adult stem cells can be reprogrammed to behave almost exactly like embryonic stem cells. So there's no need to sacrifice an embryo, and there are no ethical dilemmas. And this cell reprogramming is just a recent development in a long success story. Adult stem cells have already treated well over 60 diseases and injuries. Embryonic stem cells have not cured a single person. So my challenge to the next president and the next Congress of the United States is this. Stop putting our tax dollars into controversial technologies and focus our efforts on methods that are politically neutral and medically effective.